this is Maxine at Fabricland. As promised, I'm going to show you how to make this poncho. It's um, only got two seams, really quick and easy to make. So I said I'd give you a video on how to do it because maybe rather than buying a pattern, you can pause the video as you go along and you can make it. So to start with, you're going to need to get two meters of polar fleece. Okay, so I've selected the spot so you can see with this one. Okay, so you're gonna have two meters of polar fleece. You need to cut a meter and a half by a meter and a half, so a square, okay? And then you're going to trim off your salvage edge because you don't want that on the bottom of your poncho. So what you're gonna do is to trim off the salvage edge off the two edges. Okay, so you're gonna end up with a square like this, okay? So it's got no salvage edges on it, okay? Then what you're going to do is to fold this into four. So like into squares, if that makes sense. So that's one, and then you're gonna fold that, two, okay? And this is gonna be your neck. So you're doing it where all your folds are, okay? So. It doesn't matter which way you measure, as long as you measure from one side. So what we're going to do is to measure down 10 centimetres or four inches if you're in the older uh, measurements and put a pin. And then we're going to measure five centimetres down or two inches on the other side. OK, so you can see. What we're going to now do is to cut a curve. I'm sorry, I'm a bit cack handed when I cut. So what I'm doing is I am, and you've got four layers of polar fleece. So you may just have to go carefully when you do it. Okay, so we're gonna cut that. And then what you're going to do is to pop it over your head to see if that's okay. Oops, she says. Okay, so that goes over my head, but I think I'd like my cow neck just a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go back and I am just going to trim a little bit more off. Only a little skinny bit, but just a little bit more, I think. Okay, so you're just going to line these back up again. So it's something that's quite easy to do. Just line your holes back up again. So I am just going to trim a little bit, only a little bit, because obviously it's going around four sides. Just going to trim a little bit more because I just would like it a bit deeper. So, and if you want to do this for children, you can, you've just got to make your square not as big. So maybe do like a metre square for children. Okay, so now I've got my hole. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to use the tape measure and measure about a centimetre down using a flexible tape measure, okay? And you're going to measure the length or around the circumference of the hole, okay? So that measures about 14 inches, 35 centimetres. So the other piece of fleece that you've got left... I'm going to give that to you, Paula, because you're going to need that in a minute. OK, so you've cut a piece. You've got a strip of 20 centimetres, um, 20 inches, sorry, all the way down, 50 centimetres. So what we're now going to do is to measure 35 centimetres. So 35 centimetres, that will do one half of the neck hole. And then we're going to double it. So I've just done the tape measure over. OK, and you can see that that's going to be OK. So we're measuring that. And I'm going to put a pin in just so I know where I'm cutting to. And I'm also going to do the other side so we get it so it's even. Right. Okay, so you've got some sort of guide as to cut. And obviously you've got to allow for your seam allowances. So normally on seam allowances we allow a centimetre, so I'm going to just cut slightly away. Right, and that's discarded as well. And then what we're going to do 
is we are going to sew the tube for our cow neck okay so I'm just going to pin down this edge and Paula very lovely for me is going to stitch while I am talking now I can see here because this all happens that this isn't quite square so I'm just going to square this up and polar fleece is really easy to cut it doesn't fray so you don't have to worry about any fraying okay right so you're all right to stitch down yeah. that Paula she's just going to stitch down that while she's stitching that I'm going to tell you what you have to do next okay now you're going to have to you have this folded in four and to make the neck fit better it's easier for you to pin the shoulder seams okay and put a pin in the center of the front and the back and to find the center of the front and the back all you do is just fold it again just pop your pin in okay and when Paula has sewn that we're then going to match up the back and the front a really small stitch, Max. Would you just like to work? Yeah. No problems, just um, make that a bit longer. Okay. Just move your thread. Okay. Right, so it's just stitching. And with polar fleece, you can either use a slight zigzag to stitch or you can just stitch it um, with a straight stitch that's a bit longer. So. So Paul's just doing that for me. Okay, so you stitched along that edge. You're going to take your pins out. Okay, and then what we're going to do is going to turn this inside out. Well, if I do it that way, that's easier, isn't it? Sorry. Hmm. Just getting my brain in gear as to how to do this. Okay, so what you're going to do is to put the right sides together inside. Okay, so you can see I've just flapped that in. Now, you need to put the centre seam at the back and you're just going to match it and pin that. Okay, and if you do, if you fold that in half, you'll get your front seam. And pin that, okay. And then, if we do that in quarters, you can then see side seam here so you're just evenly putting it in and then this makes it easier for everything to line up and polar fleece has got a bit of give so when you come to do the neck you may just have to just stretch it slightly just so it fits in but it's quite easy and I'm just going to give Paula an extra couple of pins in this just to make it easier so you can see how it's going together she says I'm just pinning again so I'm pinning it inside the quarters as they say right. and you don't need to worry about matching a pattern on this because of the neck and you could make this in plain or you could make it in patterns. So there's lots you can do. Also with polar fleece, some people may not be aware that you can actually fringe it. So what you can actually do is all you have to do is just snip it. And if you wanted on the bottom of your poncho, especially children's ones, it would look quite funky. You could just fringe it. Can you see? You can fringe it. Also, if you wanted to do a seam on your um, poncho, all you'd have to do is just literally turn the edge over and you could just seam it and hem it because it doesn't fray. So no fraying goes on. Okay, how are we getting on? All right, we can see this is coming together quite quickly. 
So if you've got a free arm on your machine, you may need to take it off um, any tool bits so you can actually get this inside. So Paul is just stitching. And you've got a lot of thickness there, but if you use um, a, a machine needle that is a 100 or a 16, um, you shouldn't have any problem at all. just done a backwards and forward stitch at the end just so it actually all does okay and now what I'm going to do is to take all the pins out from the neckline okay and obviously you might have some in the front and some in the back okay and then what we would recommend to make it sit properly is just to give a couple of snips round the neck edge okay can you see I've just done a couple of snips just to make sure that it lies flat okay that would just help it sit and not bunch around the neckline so you can see look I've done a couple of snips just around the neckline please be careful not to stick go into the stitching okay with your scissors so you're just snipping up to that line okay and then what we're going to do we're going to turn it around, okay, and I'm going to pop it on. And as you can see, whoop, a lovely poncho. This would look lovely with some jeans um, if you were going to pop to the shops or you want to keep warm in your house this winter. So come and have a go at our DIY poncho. Goodbye. <laughs>